Hello folks, this is Naim Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Welcome to our daily fundamental video analysis. While the fear-mongering headlines continue to print, the devil is always in details, folks. And I am speaking of the price action for the S&P 500 index and the Dow Jones index. If you look at these two indices from the weekly perspective and gauge their gains, you can see the S&P 500 index is sitting on 2.5% gain, while the Dow Jones index has scored well over 3% for this week. And guess what? For the Dow Jones index, the gains already trumped for the previous week's gain. So this leads me to believe that unless we see a massive sell-off for the, the two indices today, we are still set to post another positive week in terms of equity price action over in the United States, of course. But the, as I said, the devil is in detail. Why? Because when we look at the price action over in Asia and Hong Kong being the primary focus, because this was the reason which flared up these geopolitical tension between the US and China. Of course, China initiated it by imposing a new security law on Hong Kong and the US being the US, Donald Trump came up came up with a very strong action and now he's going to announce sanctions against the Chinese officials and the Chinese institutions. So the primary the primary element is that these geopolitical tensions should have triggered massive sell-off for this index and I mean the the Hong Kong's index HSI index but that isn't the case. Because when we look at the price, it is still trading well above the 50-day smooth moving average on a daily time frame. So this leads me to believe that bulls are in no mood of losing the control of the price action and bears are still losing this battle. And the similar message is also echoed in the Shanghai index as well. Again, there is, there is absence. I don't see any abysmal price action over there as well. So what does this mean? Well, it means that maybe, perhaps, investors are either being incredibly ignorant of this particular geop uh, geopolitical event that can really change the dynamics of the current price action and that can possibly push the price action back towards the COVID-19 low or they just anticipate that this is going to be nothing but just a slap on it on the wrist. Remember, during the trade war tensions, the geopolitical tensions, we've learned one thing. China doesn't defy to US threats. It stands to them and it retaliates with similar reaction. And that is the concern, I think, which isn't factored into the market so far. As I said yesterday as well. But if it is a slap on the wrist, then obviously it isn't going to be a slap on the face from the China, from Chinese side as well. So perhaps this is the reason that we are not seeing any massive sell-off in the equity markets, despite the fact that the major news outlets are still keep on ham hammering this message that the geopolitical concern is a major qualm for the investors. Because the price action only tells us that it is a very dismal price. It said the, the, the sell-off is very dismal because perhaps investors are only shaving off some of their gains that they, they, they have scored during the past few weeks. And that is a highly likely scenario as well. Now, in terms of stock prices, the fight continues between Twitter and Trump. The stock is likely to remain highly volatile. Yesterday's price action during the, during the US session, the price dropped over 4%, but in the aftermarket session, the price surged over 1%. Now, of course, Donald Trump has signed this executive order, that, but this is likely to be challenged in the court, and the outcome of that will determine two factors. A, what Donald Trump calls a freedom of speech. Second is Twitter's price. Only time will tell, but one thing is for certain, the price action is likely to remain highly volatile. 
that's all for today enjoy your weekend and i'll see you guys next week